I think Americans remain interested in the Civil War in very large numbers because it is such a fascinating topic for them in, in crucial ways. Number one, it's our war. It's our greatest war, our most all-encompassing war uh, that, that touched a higher percentage of the population more directly than any other war we've ever been in. It's also a war that was fought with enormous issues at stake. Is the Union going to be held together or is it going to be sundered? Are there going to be two nations instead of one? It's a war that decides the fate of four million slaves in the United States, this great cancer that had been eating uh, at, the, at the body of the Republic ever since the Philadelphia Convention in 1787. That great issue is finally going to be brought to a head and settled. So you have freedom for millions of Americans, the integrity of the nation itself. You also have the relationship of the central government to the states and the localities at stake. Uh, both Washington and Richmond, both the United States government and the Confederate national government, took on enormously greater powers than the U.S. government had ever had before. And so that is happening at the same time. Uh, finally, you have a cast of characters that's as compelling as any at any point in United States history, whether you're talking about Abraham Lincoln or Ulysses S. Grant or Robert E. Lee or Frederick Douglass or you name it, there's this huge cast of absolutely compelling figures caught up in this seismic struggle with enormous issues at stake. And of course it's compelling to Americans. It was compelling to the generation that lived through it. It's been compelling to every generation since. I think it's very important that students understand key things about the Civil War because if they don't, they won't understand the United States now. You cannot possibly understand the United States as it is now without understanding what was at stake during the Civil War. We see the Civil War resonate in many ways. Uh, in our newspapers and on our television broadcasts today. One of the things that Americans of the mid-19th century tried to work out was how you would make a biracial society equitable to both black and white people. We're still working on that, now in a multiracial society, not just a biracial society. The war settled whether someone could secede, some state could secede. It settled whether there would be slaves or not. It did not settle precisely how Americans would work out uh, their republic, their democratic republic, in a way where everyone enjoyed equality of opportunity and equal justice under the law. Uh, those things are still works in progress. And other great issues of the war also still resonate, such as the relationship of the central government to the state governments and the localities. The Civil War is still with us in very important ways, and I think that if our students don't understand that, uh, they will have very little chance at really understanding the nation as it is now, never mind the nation as it was then.